Recently, President Joe Biden and President Hassani Jinping had an important meeting to discuss the relationship between the United States and China and how both countries can achieve prosperity. The meeting took place at the Faloli Historic House and Garden in Woodside, California, which symbolically represented the significance of maintaining and nurturing the delicate balance of international relations. During the meeting, President Xi emphasized that there is ample room for both countries to grow and succeed without resorting to conflict or jealousy. He firmly believes that if both nations focus on their own development, there will be no need for tensions or disputes. However, achieving this requires the United States to shift its perspective away from seeing confrontation as the solution and instead concentrate on its own progress. The United States has been somewhat envious of China's rapid development and increasing global influence, and this has strained the relationship between the two countries. President Biden's eagerness to hold this summit reflects the crucial step taken in diplomatic efforts to navigate the complex dynamics between the United States and China. In this video, we will talk deeper about the impact of President Biden and President Xi's meeting on the future of U.S.-China relations. We will explore the reasons behind the United States' feelings of envy towards China and examine whether their relationship can improve in the coming years. By understanding the significance of this meeting and its potential implications, we can gain insights into the path that U.S.-China relations may take and the possibilities for cooperation and understanding between these two global powers. Recently, the leaders of the United States and China came together for an important summit where they talked about various global issues. President Biden and President Hassan Jinping both emphasized the significance of healthy competition, collaboration, and cooperation in international relationships. They acknowledged that their countries have a big influence on the world and a responsibility to address important issues that affect the international community as a whole. The purpose of the summit was to promote a broader understanding of the interconnected challenges faced by the world and to move beyond just their own concerns. One of the important issues they discussed was the ongoing conflict in Gaza. President Biden sought to use China's influence with Iran to prevent the situation from escalating further. They recognized that working together was crucial for bringing stability to the Middle East and expressed their shared commitment to finding diplomatic solutions to long-standing conflicts. Apart from the situation in Gaza, President Biden also brought up concerns about North Korea supplying arms to Russia. He asked President Xi for help in stopping such activities, and both leaders affirmed their commitment to working together to address the spread of weapons in sensitive regions. They acknowledged the potential destabilizing effects of illegal arms trade and agreed on the need for cooperation to tackle threats that affect the well-being of people in both countries. Furthermore, the discussions focused on the urgent need to address the flow of fentanyl from China to the United States. Both leaders recognized the devastating impact of the opioid crisis and expressed their determination to take measures to reduce the production and distribution of fentanyl. Summarily, the recent summit between President Biden and President Xi Jinping aimed to address global challenges and foster cooperation. They discussed issues such as the conflict in Gaza, arms supply for North Korea, and the flow of fentanyl. By recognizing the importance of collaboration and working together, they emphasized their commitment to finding solutions and making the world a safer and better place for everyone. During the summit, President Biden and President Xi Jinping also talked about reopening military communication channels that had been closed by Beijing following a Taiwan visit last year. They both understood the significance of having clear channels of communication to avoid misunderstandings and miscalculations that could lead to increased tensions. Reaching an agreement to reopen these channels was a positive step towards fostering transparency and trust between the two countries' military forces. The summit went beyond addressing specific issues and served as a platform for the leaders to navigate the broader landscape of U.S.-China relations. They acknowledged the complexities arising from economic interdependence, technological competition, and ideological differences. Recognizing that these challenges required careful diplomacy and strategic cooperation. The technological race between the United States and China presents a significant global challenge that demands thoughtful consideration. During their discussions, the leaders emphasized the importance of technological advancements in shaping the future, 
particularly in areas such as artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, and 5G technology. They recognized that healthy competition and collaboration were necessary to drive progress in these fields. However, they also acknowledged a potential misuse of technology for malicious purposes and committed to preventing such misuse. Their goal was to ensure that technological advancements ultimately benefit humanity as a whole. The summit between President Biden and President Xi Jinping instantly addressed the reopening of military communication channels and delved into broader aspects of U.S.-China relations. They acknowledged the challenges posed by economic interdependence, technological competition, and ideological differences, emphasizing the need for careful diplomacy and strategic cooperation. Additionally, they recognized the importance of technological advancements while committing to preventing their misuse and ensuring their positive impact on society. Despite having different beliefs and values, President Biden and President Xi Jinping emphasized the importance of finding areas of agreement to tackle global challenges. They understood the significance of engaging in respectful dialogue and using diplomacy to bridge their ideological differences. Their shared goals included addressing issues like climate change, global health, and poverty reduction. The summit concluded on a positive note, with both leaders expressing optimism for the future. The agreement to maintain high-level diplomatic engagement and establish a framework for ongoing dialogue demonstrated a commitment to building trust and cooperation. While challenges still exist, the potential for positive change lies in their collaborative efforts, which prioritize shared interests and global stability. The historic meeting near San Francisco served as a significant turning point in the relationship between the United States and China. It showcased the ability of leaders from both nations, despite their power and influence, to engage in constructive discussions, set aside their differences, and work together towards common objectives. While it remains uncertain whether this meeting will lead to substantial changes in the U.S.-China relationship, it represents a crucial step towards finding common ground and addressing global challenges in a cooperative manner. By fostering a spirit of understanding and collaboration, there is hope for a more harmonious and productive relationship between these two influential countries. In a recent speech, President Xi Jinping of China acknowledged the ongoing recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic on a global scale. He highlighted the slow progress of the world economy, emphasizing the need for sustained collaboration and cooperation among nations. This collaborative approach is crucial to support economic recovery and maintain stability worldwide. President Xi's remarks also expressed optimism about the numerous opportunities that exist for both China and the United States within the global landscape. By recognizing the global recovery from the pandemic, President Xi demonstrates a shared understanding of the resilience and adaptability demonstrated by nations around the world. However, the focus on the sluggish pace of the global economy highlights the enduring challenges faced in the post-pandemic era. The delicate balance between recovery and economic growth remains a central concern for leaders as they navigate international relations. President Xi's optimistic statements indicate a belief in the potential for collaboration and finding shared solutions despite the economic challenges. As the world continues to grapple with uncertainties, the importance of diplomatic cooperation becomes increasingly evident for achieving global stability and sustainable growth. It is through working together that nations can overcome obstacles and build a brighter future for all. President Xi Jinping also acknowledged the historical ups and downs in the relationship between China and the United States. Over time, this complex relationship has experienced periods of cooperation, competition, and tension. Understanding this history is crucial in comprehending the current dynamics between the two nations. President Xi's optimistic outlook demonstrates a willingness to learn from the past and strive for mutual respect and cooperation. By acknowledging the shared opportunities that exist, despite the complexities of their history, President Xi sets a positive tone for the future of sino us relations. In response, President Biden expressed gratitude for the visit and emphasized the importance of clear understanding between leaders. They both recognize that open and honest communication is vital in navigating international relations effectively. President Biden further emphasized the significance of managing competition without resorting to conflict.
In a world where geopolitical competition is prevalent, it is crucial to handle differences diplomatically to maintain global peace and stability. This approach highlights the shared responsibility of influential nations in promoting cooperation and diplomacy. President Biden's stance showcases an awareness of the delicate balance required to engage in healthy competition without allowing it to lead to destructive consequences. It underscores the importance of finding common ground and pursuing shared goals while respecting each other's differences. President Xi's acknowledgement of the historical fluctuations in sino us relations, combined with President Biden's emphasis on clear understanding and managing competition, summarily reflects a commitment to foster mutual respect and cooperation. By learning from the past and prioritizing open communication, both leaders aim to navigate the complexities of their relationship and promote global peace and stability through diplomatic means. President Biden made it clear that the primary objective of the summit was to restore communication channels, particularly in the military domain, with the aim of preventing potential conflicts. The decision to prioritize the reopening of military communication channels highlights the recognition of their crucial role in averting misunderstandings and miscalculations that could potentially escalate tensions to dangerous levels. Accompanied by high-ranking officials, President Biden intends to address a wide range of contentious issues during the summit. These topics include military tensions, disinformation campaigns, human rights violations, and economic concerns. The inclusion of such diverse and complex topics in the summit's agenda reflects the multifaceted challenges faced by the international community. However, within this comprehensive agenda, the restoration of military communication channels assumes particular importance. China's previous closure of these communication channels, following a Taiwan visit last year, created a significant gap in diplomatic engagement and contributed to an environment of heightened uncertainty. The decision to reopen these channels signifies a commitment to building transparency and trust between the two military powers. Recognizing the necessity of effective and direct communication between military entities, the reopening of these channels addresses immediate concerns and lays the groundwork for ongoing dialogue and crisis management. In an era where geopolitical tensions can rapidly escalate, the significance of robust military communication channels cannot be overstated. China's consistent emphasis on military collaboration is now being acknowledged by the United States. The broad range of issues to be addressed during the summit reflects the complexity of contemporary global challenges. Military tensions, disinformation campaigns, human rights violations, and economic concerns represent different facets of a multifaceted landscape that necessitate nuanced and comprehensive solutions. By prioritizing the restoration of military communication channels, the summit recognizes the urgent need to establish clear and reliable lines of communication to prevent misunderstandings and potential conflicts. This step, along with the broader agenda encompassing various contentious issues, demonstrates a commitment to addressing the complex challenges of our interconnected world through open dialogue, cooperation, and a comprehensive approach. The decision to discuss military tensions in the summit's agenda highlights the importance of maintaining stability in international relations. As countries invest in their military capabilities, the risk of misunderstandings and misinterpretations grows. To address these tensions, it is crucial to prioritize transparency, build confidence through measures, and engage in diplomatic dialogue that establishes shared understanding on security concerns. Another significant topic of discussion is the prevalence of disinformation campaigns in the digital age, which presents unique challenges for global leaders. Deliberate spreading of false or misleading information can create divisions, erode trust, and destabilize nations. By including disinformation campaigns in the summit's agenda, leaders demonstrate their commitment to tackling the evolving nature of information warfare through cooperation, intelligence sharing, and the development of strong cybersecurity measures. Importantly, the summit provides an opportunity for China to address allegations of the U.S. spreading rumors against it. The discussion of human rights violations also took place, with a particular focus on the actions of the U.S. in Palestine. While different nations may have varying approaches to governance, addressing human rights concerns is essential to foster accountability and uphold fundamental human rights.
The summit serves as a platform for constructive dialogue on these issues, aiming to find common ground and promote human rights globally. In summary, the summit's agenda covers a range of critical topics, including military tensions, disinformation campaigns, and human rights violations. By addressing these issues, leaders recognize the need for strategic stability in international relations, the challenges posed by information warfare, and the importance of upholding human rights. Through open and constructive dialogue, the summit aims to foster cooperation, build trust, and find solutions that promote stability, security, and respect for human rights worldwide. The summit's inclusion of human rights concerns, particularly in relation to the Israel-Hamas conflict, highlights the importance of President Biden addressing these issues. However, it remains uncertain whether specific actions will be taken to resolve the conflict. As the summit continues, the leaders of the United States and China face the challenge of building trust and cooperation. The complex issues on the agenda require open dialogue, willingness to compromise, and finding common ground. Restoring communication channels, especially in the military realm, is a tangible step towards transparency and preventing misunderstandings that could potentially escalate into conflicts. Building trust on a global scale is an ongoing process that necessitates consistent diplomatic engagement and a commitment to shared values. While challenges persist, the expressed optimism by President Xi and the commitment to understanding and cooperation by President Biden laid the groundwork for progress. The global landscape is constantly evolving, and the dynamics between nations are changing. The success of diplomatic efforts will depend on leaders' ability to navigate complexities, foster collaboration, and work towards a more stable and harmonious world. It is crucial to address human rights concerns and promote peace and stability in conflict areas. The summit provides an opportunity for leaders to engage in meaningful discussions aimed at finding solutions and promoting accountability. By fostering trust and cooperation, nations can work together to address the challenges of our time and create a more inclusive and equitable future for all. The impact of this meeting between the United States and China is yet to be fully understood. However, one immediate change expected in their relationship is a shift towards diplomacy and cooperation. The decision to hold a face-to-face -face summit marks a departure from confrontational language and actions that have characterized their recent interactions. By engaging in direct dialogue, both leaders show their commitment to resolving differences through peaceful means rather than allowing them to escalate into potential conflicts. Rebuilding trust between the two nations is a significant change anticipated after the summit. President Biden's emphasis on clear understanding and open communication lays the foundation for improved transparency between the United States and China. The reopening of military communication channels, which were previously closed by China after a Taiwan visit, is a crucial step in fostering trust and preventing misunderstandings. Having clear channels of communication is vital to avoid misinterpretations that could lead to heightened tensions or even conflicts. The summit's agenda, which covers a wide range of contentious issues such as military tensions, disinformation campaigns, human rights violations, and economic concerns, reflects a practical approach to problem solving. It demonstrates a willingness to address various challenges and find comprehensive solutions. In essence, the summit provides an important opportunity for the United States and China to navigate their differences, rebuild trust, and work towards a more cooperative and mutually beneficial relationship. The outcomes and long-term impact of the meeting will depend on the actions taken by both leaders and the progress made in addressing the complex issues discussed. Both leaders have chosen to directly confront sensitive topics within the diplomatic setting of the summit indicating their recognition that collaborative and multifaceted solutions are necessary to tackle global challenges. The comprehensive nature of the discussions demonstrates a commitment to finding common ground and actively working towards resolution rather than avoiding or sidelining disagreements. Looking beyond the immediate outcomes, the summit is expected to establish a strong foundation for future engagement between the United States and China. The creation of a framework for ongoing dialogue demonstrates a commitment to continuous communication and cooperation. Reopening military communication channels is not a one-time event, 
but rather a way to facilitate ongoing engagement, manage crises, and prevent conflicts from arising. By maintaining open lines of communication, the leaders are establishing a mechanism to address emerging challenges promptly and prevent future escalations. The impact of this summit goes beyond the bilateral relationship between the United States and China. It holds global implications. As the world becomes more interconnected, the dynamics between these major powers have far-reaching consequences for international stability and cooperation. If the summit succeeds in fostering a more cooperative relationship, it could serve as a positive example for other nations grappling with diplomatic challenges. However, it is crucial to acknowledge the challenges and uncertainties that lie ahead. U.S.-China relations are intricate and influenced by ideological differences, strategic competition, and domestic priorities. Overcoming deep-rooted issues will require sustained effort, compromise, and a willingness to navigate the complexities of the global landscape. Furthermore, external events and unforeseen developments can influence the trajectory of U.S.-China relations, such as geopolitical shifts, economic fluctuations, and global crisis, which may introduce new challenges or opportunities. While the recent meeting between the United States and China brings hope for positive change in a world often marked by tension and conflict, the sincerity of the U.S. in addressing issues and fostering cooperation remains a significant question. The road ahead may continue to present challenges if the meeting is perceived as mere symbolism or a superficial display of concern without genuine intent. Resolving complex issues requires sincerity and a genuine desire for finding solutions. If the United States genuinely wants to improve relations and resolve conflicts, there is a path to finding solutions. However, if the meeting is merely a show without real commitment, the problems between the countries may persist. It is crucial for diplomatic efforts to be authentic. Being honest in communication and taking meaningful action builds trust and enables effective collaboration. With sincere efforts from both sides, they can bridge their differences and achieve positive outcomes. China has expressed its readiness to allow the United States to maintain its power. This willingness to cooperate could be a significant breakthrough in their relationship. China emphasizes that for this cooperation to succeed, the U.S. should focus on progress rather than feeling envious or creating obstacles. China's message is clear. The U.S. should shift its focus from jealousy to development. Rather than being envious of China's success, there is an invitation to work together for mutual progress. This change in perspective is vital for establishing a cooperative and friendly relationship between the two countries. Jealousy can lead to unnecessary problems. By collaborating and supporting each other, they can both grow and succeed. The summit should serve as an opportunity for both countries to move beyond their rivalry and work together for the betterment of the world. Both sides must commit to sincere cooperation. This entails understanding each other's concerns and goals. The focus should be on identifying common ground and seeking solutions that benefit everyone, instead of perpetuating the rivalry. A cooperative future relies on acknowledging and valuing each other's strengths and contributions. Both countries have the potential to play significant roles in addressing global challenges, and their collaboration amplifies their impact. Diplomacy plays a crucial role in fostering genuine cooperation. Open and honest communication between the U.S. and China is essential for building trust and understanding. By engaging in transparent discussions, concerns can be addressed, misunderstandings can be clarified, and mutually beneficial solutions can be found. Diplomatic efforts should create an environment where both countries feel heard and respected. This requires actively listening, showing empathy, and genuinely seeking common ground. Please let us know in the comments if you would like us to create a video discussing whether the U.S. is genuinely committed to aligning with China this time or not. We hope you enjoy our videos. If so, please like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on our exclusive content about China's development and its growing influence over the world. Stay tuned for our upcoming video.